What we have to do is we have to go off a jump, fly through the air, through a hoop of fire, and then fly down and land and hover on water. That is the epic finale. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and today we have a doozy of an episode ahead of us, because I'm taking on one of your requests in the comments. Uh, I think I've seen it on a couple of videos so far, and it's probably going to be difficult. So what I'm going to try to do today is make an all-purpose vehicle, meaning a singular vehicle that can work as a car on land with wheels, a plane in the air, and also a hovercraft over water. I don't really know how easy or possible this is gonna be, but I'm gonna try it, and if anything, we're gonna have a nice record of fails to look at. Um, but I figured you guys would enjoy the process either way. I'm probably I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna do things all wrong. Uh, but that's always good for I get I get a lot of great feedback in the comments really encouraging and inspiring feedback when I do things wrong in my videos So I'm just really looking forward to seeing that in the comments Okay, so I figure I'm gonna start with the easiest thing Which is just a car because all I need is uh, a seat some engines and some wheels and we should be able to drive around on the ground And then I'm, I, I don't know what second it should be should it be the water or should it be the air? second should probably be the air and then we can make it float on water. Yeah. Now I'm actually thinking, now that I'm thinking about it, um, my originally in my head I had like a really big and bulky complex thing with all these different parts to utilize all these different features. But now I'm thinking if we can make it lighter weight, it's probably gonna make my job a lot easier. So let's try not to go too heavy with this. So now the interesting challenge that I'm thinking about here is how to make sure that the individual aspects of the vehicle stay independent from each other. Like, I don't want it to fly when I'm trying to drive, and I don't want it to hover when I'm trying to drive. Things like that. Because uh, there's no, like, logic system to turn things on and off, um, necessarily. You can, you can have toggle switches, but you can't, like, hook them up with logic to make them activate at certain, um, points versus other things activating at certain points, unless there's a way I can get around that. It's gonna take some experimenting, for sure. So I'm just gonna build a really, really bare-bones vehicle here with a relatively wide wheelbase. And let's just have like a, just one of these engines on it. You know what, I think I'm gonna put two because we're gonna need some symmetry and weight, especially for the flying portion. All right, well, I think we got a, yep. Part one is in the bag. We have a car, so success, we win. Episode over, we'll go to part two in the next episode. We'll see you tomorrow, no, I'm just kidding. We're gonna do all this, we're gonna try to do all this in one episode. Um, I did not expect the car to be that difficult, and um, of course it wasn't. This is actually pretty durable too. All right, so now I'm thinking, I'm thinking about going for the flying. All right, so I've just made a basic uh, set of tail fins here. I have the vertical stabilizer, and then I've put, and I put the other ones on some pitch control, which are set to U and J. So I'm gonna have WASD for ground uh, flight control. Or not ground flight control, gra uh, ground wheel control. And then I'm going to have UJHK for my flight controls, if that works, I hope. I couldn't do TGFH because F is how I get in and out of the vehicle. So now it's gonna be the tough part of actually putting on some uh, wings to make this thing get up in the air. And I'm hoping I'll just be able to put some on the side here and uh, then using my tail fins to pitch myself up, it'll give me enough to keep going, but oh, I need thrust. Where am I gonna put my thrust? You know what, we, we might be able to fit the thrust up there too. Here, let's see, we're gonna use these. Can I just put the thrust like right next to that? Will that work? You know what, maybe if I turn it this way, then I can put it down by one. There we go, and then we'll put it on this side too. This looks weird. This looks really weird. All right, and then I'm just gonna do just the randomest experiment, not really expecting this to work. I'm just gonna put these there and uh, one on the other side here and just hope that this thing flies for some reason. All right, here we go. Uh, I guess I'll just, uh, wait, let me save this thing first just in case anything terrible happens. There we go. All right, so now let's, uh, let's just take this thing over to the water and see if I can make this thing go up in the air. All right, put some thrust on and then lift off. No way. No way. 
I mean, we're definitely front heavy. I keep having to pitch back, but this is actually working. This is actually working. Oh wait, no, I was holding W. Oh no, it's still definitely front heavy. What if I hold back? It's working. We have a flying car. All right, can we land it though is the problem. All right, let's uh, try to land up on this thing. And I, I don't have control. I should probably put it on like a follow cam of some sort. All right, can we glide in nice and gently? Ugh. All right, that wasn't too gentle, but we totally did it. All right, um, hmm. I'm wondering if I can actually put my thrust in a better position. You know, what? I'm going to switch here. I'm going to see what happens if I rearrange my... Because th the thrusters are a lot of weight. I'm going to put these thrusters right there, and I'm going to put these wings... Oh, I don't... Can, I, can they not fit? They should be able to fit right there, right? What if I move this one back? Now this should be able to fit. Now I'm probably going to be back heavy doing this. But for science, I just want to experiment with it. All right, let's see if this is any better with the weight distribution. I'm just going to go off a cliff here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where's the follow cam? Where's the follow cam? Uh, we got, we got all got vehicle chase one, vehicle chase two. Oh, I want vehicle chase one. Let's go all the way back through. Oh, I missed it. There we go. Vehicle chase one. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ready and lift off. This is better. This is balanced. Well, not completely balanced, but it's better. It's totally better and it's totally working. This is amazing. This is way more successful, way earlier than I thought it was ever going to be. Okay, now can we slow down? Can we have a nice glide to a landing here? Oh, that felt so good. That felt so good. Oh, we got to go off this jump. We got to go off this jump. Ready? Woo! <laughs> can we go through the tunnel? Oh, I did not prepare myself for this. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. Oh, oh, okay. You know what? No problem. Nope. All right. This is a problem. This is a problem. Okay. So now we just need to make it hover on a, uh, on the, on the ocean, but this works so far. This is a, a raging success. All right. You know what? Let's just, uh, let's just fly over here because we don't need to pay attention to roads anymore. There we go. <laughs> this is amazing. I love this vehicle already. Oh, now we just have to make it go over this water here. Okay. Wow. I don't know why I'm so excited that this actually worked like my first try, pretty much. Okay, now what to do with hovering? We need to place more weight on it, which is going to affect our flying. Okay, good. The good thing, though, is that the hover pads have a toggle mode now. So that's going to be really easy to activate whether or not we want to be hovering or driving. We just have to put them at the right height. All right, so it's pretty easy to put one in front and in back. And what I could actually do is make these, uh, these support beams here shorter. So we only use the two instead of the four block one. And then I can attach the wheels to this thing right here. So I'm pretty sure if I just do this, check this out. This thing actually be kind of cool. And then I take these and add them underneath here. Now I can move this right into that little slot there. Just attach it at the end, please. It's not letting me. Oh, oh, I see. This is actually wider. So I need to move the wheels out a little bit if I do this, which will be a little bit awkward. But you know what? For the sake of making this thing not as long. Whoops. That was a mistake. I only wanted these few pieces here. All right. Let's just attach that right there. And we'll just take these pieces and attach them right there. And then we'll take this entire thing and attach that right there. So now the front wheels are wider than the back wheels, which is kind of... A little awkward. There's room for mo movement right here. We could just rotate this. Wrong way. You rotate this this way. Attach it back where it was. And then move this back in. And now it should be the same. Yep, now it's the same in the front and back. All right, sorry. I just, I just like the front and back wheels to be the same width. Unless the back wheels are, like, bigger. Otherwise, it just looks really weird with the front wheels being wider than the back wheels. All right, so that should, that should make everything... Okay, let's just test how this drives drives for now. Oh, whoops. We're hovering. We need to set... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We may have made a mistake here. <gasps> Our pitch... Our pitch is no longer going to be able to do its thing with that in the back. This is going to interfere with the pitch. Oh, oh, here's the easy solution. Easy solution. 
We just move these out one block now that the wheels are out one block. All right, let's hope that this works now. Up, down. Okay, they don't interfere. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, I don't think this is going to be enough to hover across the water alone, but I forgot to actually set these on toggles, so we need to make sure that we set have a toggle for these. What should the toggle be? I guess Y? We'll set these to toggle with Y. There we go. So they're on, they're off. Wait, what? Are those that heavy? It just completely... That just completely destroys the suspension in the back. Is it really that heavy? Look at the difference. Am I just dragging this thing across the ground? All right, well, let's go ahead and put it on. And we're just going to tip over, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, this is working different than I expected. Okay. Okay, this is weird. Why does this kind of work? I can't really go straight, though, is the problem. I'm trying to straighten out right now. You can see with my turning. But it's not quite working. Um, all right, we're going to have to figure out a solution to this. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be yet. But I'm actually surprised that this works the way it does, to be honest. Oh, you know, I probably could have just taken... Hold on, let me experiment with something here. I, I think I... I might be too heavy now, actually. Let's see if we could take off from the ground. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Man, these... Th How heavy are these? They completely ruined my ability to fly. 23 kilograms. 25 kilograms. 10 kilograms. I mean, it added almost 50 kilograms to us, but I didn't think it would be that big of a deal. Okay, let's turn them off, and let's just see if we can fly. I, I just, I at least hope that we can still fly with these two on there. All right, come on. Go, 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 go. And... Take off! All right, we seem to be doing okay. Wait, I can't turn them off anymore. The hotkey stopped working. Why did the hotkey stop working? All right, well, we can still fly... They ruined everything! Alright, these hover pads are proving to be a lot more difficult than I thought they were going to be. I thought it was just going to be, I have a flying and driving creation. Just put a couple hover pads on it, and now I have a hovering creation. But the hover pads are really interfering with everything else a lot more than I expected them to. So, this is going to take some... This is going to take some work. You know what I just realized? The issue I had with the hover... With these two hover pads over the water is I kept tilting side to side. So what if I have the hover pads on the side to side and then my issue would be tilting in front to back, but I have pitch already. The only question is going to be, will I be able to turn? All right, so this is the new design here. The only issue is they touch the ground when I turn them off. Oh, wait, I can adjust the suspension. Um, I think the suspension now has strength adjustment. So let's put the back suspension up a little bit. Yes, there we go. Stiffness. All right, let's turn the stiffness all the way up. All right, and it's better. It's better. All right, so now let's see if this does any better on the water. I still don't have any reliable method to turn, however, at least on the water. All right, and we're going to turn them on. There we go. Oh, right, that didn't work. All right, let's try this again. We just need a smoother, maybe a slower entrance into the water so I don't nosedive quite as much. All right, a little bit smoother. A little bit smoother. All right, let's turn it on. There we go. Here we stay on, stay on. Yes. There we go. It's working. It's working. And I don't really have any turning mechanism, do I? No. We're going to have to figure that out, huh? All right, now the question is, can I get up in the air if I do a little bit of this? Okay. Okay. It's not quite as strong in the air as I would hope it would be. Can we get... Ooh, ooh, okay. 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 Okay, there we go. We have a nice follow cam now. Requires a lot of corrections. And it's definitely... There's a lot more... A lot more effect of gravity pulling me down now. So I don't like that either. But... In order to make a hovering vehicle, ugh, we're, we need to we need to have the hover pads, and they just weigh a lot. So now all we really need is just turning, which I guess we could do. All right, you know what? I'm gonna do something a little bit different here for turning. We're gonna add 
uh, two more. Well, let's look at the weight here. 10 kilograms, six kilograms. Okay, it's only going to be... I'm going to add two of these instead of one of these. It's only going to be a difference in two extra kilograms. So I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bridge this gap right here. Then I'm going to add two of these, which is a, an extra kilogram as well. So we'll have to take that into account. And you know what I completely forgot about is aerodynamic pieces. This on the front here could actually help us uh, with some flying if we have less air resistance on our vehicle here. All right, so here is my solution. Doing a little bit of this right here. So hopefully that'll help us out with uh, turning in all facets of this. Oh, oh, we have our... That's why it felt weird. We still have our uh, uh, hover thrusters on. Oh, wait, no, it still feels weird. Still feels a little bit weird. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, turn our hover thrusters on. Let's go onto the water now. All right, we're a little bit back heavy now. Let's see if turning works. Oh, this is weird. This is a little bit weird. It's kind of working, though, although I feel like we're pretty much just, like, almost flying. We might as well just go up into the air instead of over the water. We're too heavy. We're either too heavy or not enough thrust. And you know what? That might be a good thing because we need more weight in the front. And the best way to do that might just be to put some thrusters in the front. It'll add more weight and give us more speed for going through the air. So let's try that. All right, this is really weird because uh, the only place I really have to put this thrust is right on top of these. So we have thrust underneath and we have thrust on top. So I just feel like this is just gonna be Super weird. All right, but let's give it a try. Let's see how the weight distribution is. You know what? The best way to figure out the weight distribution, let's go up in the air. Let's see if we can get up in the air with this. Oh, this is definitely enough thrust to get up in the air. I like this. Oh, but we are... It actually feels front heavy now. It's a little bit front heavy. But you know what? The better test for front heaviness is... Uh, let's try the... Ugh. Let's try the hover pads in the water. That was a good landing. Okay, now let's head over to the water here. Put our hover pads on. Okay, this isn't bad. This isn't... That's bad. That's that's bad. What I mean... Alright, so the car part works really well, and the tail fins are great, because when I turn, it feels like I'm going to slide out, and then as soon as my tail fin straightens out, it just stops me straight in the direction that I'm going, which is amazing. Um, the flying part... The flying part totally works. Whoop. It's a little bit finicky at times with the pitch. But, we're, I mean, we're a little bit front heavy. It wants to tilt us forward just a little bit. And it might not be front heaviness. It just might be that those front thrusters are above my center of mass, maybe. So it wants to pull my front down. But the only issue right now is hovering. Hovering is the main issue right now. All right, let's see if I can do a nice landing here. All right, not bad. So now we're just going to turn the hover on. And now we're just going to see if we can stay up on the water. No, we can't. And that is now coming to an issue of I don't have any front to back buoyancy with the hover pads. What if we do a tripod? What if I take one of these hover pads, put it right up here. This is awkward. And if I just move these back. Oh, I can't move that back at all. Yes, move that back by one. Move this back by one. Now let's see if this helps out. But now we're just going to be even heavier in the front. Oh, that's going to be bad. All right, here's the test. Oh, much better so far. Let's see if we can turn. Eh, eh, turning isn't working that well. Eh, turning isn't working that well. All right, I'm doing an experiment here based off of the workshop video that I did. I'm gonna see if adding some vertical fins closer to my center will help me with the turning. All right, I don't, I'm not completely sure why I think this is gonna make a difference. I don't completely understand the physics behind it, but let's see if it actually helps. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that totally helped. That made all the difference. That really made all the difference. All right, I'm learning things. Thanks to you guys on the Trailmakers Workshop. I'm totally learning things. Now let's see if we have enough weight to, or have a, not enough weight, enough lack of weight to actually fly this thing. Ooh, it's slow. 
It is slow and it is front heavy. I don't like the how front heavy this is. We're gonna see if we can move those front thrusters to the back somewhere. Eh, yeah, it's oh, it is front heavy. Oh, oh boy, oh, 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 no way. No way, we just did a successful water landing. I've never done that in this game before. That was an unintentional successful water landing. I am actually really impressed with this thing. Okay, we need to just fix, all we need to do for, for me to be satisfied with this thing now is make it less front heavy. I'm just gonna grab these thrusters and then just move them back on top of the other thrusters. Now, I feel like I'm gonna be way too back heavy for this. But we'll find out. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Lift off. Okay. Oh, okay. This isn't that bad. This isn't that bad at all. I am still a little bit... Not... I guess maybe I'm not front heavy. Maybe it's just my aerodynamics that's making me tip forward. Something to do with my aerodynamics might be making me tip a little bit forward here. So you know what I'm going Oh, that's bad. Oh, that is bad. That is not good. Okay. Okay. Turning now. Now that I have the tail... Oh, that interferes. I see the issue. So my turning with my tail fin interferes if I'm pitching back. So I can't have those going at the same time. And you know what? Honestly, when I'm flying, I don't want to be using my tail fins. But it's mapped to the same as my tilt as my roll, so that's an issue. That is an issue, unfortunately. You know what, I'm gonna do an experiment here. I'm gonna remap this to Q and E instead of A and D. So that way I have independent control over my wheel steering and my yaw. So that way I can use these for the hovering over the water and I can use my wheels on the ground and then I don't have to use either for being in the air. Q, E, okay, good. So now, how's my steering on the ground? Should be okay. All right, and if I want extra steering, I can press A and Q at the same time, or D and E at the same time, and that helps. All right, so now if I press space, I should be able to go up into the air. Oh, took a little bit. Took a little bit there, and now I should be able to tilt myself without too much of an issue. Okay, yeah, I can tilt myself now without having to use the yaw, and if I want to use the yaw, I can still activate the yaw, which does not help. The yaw is not good. The yaw doesn't do good things for us. Yeah, the yaw does weird... Oh, yaw does really weird things. Uh. Uh. Alright, so now, water test. Let's see how this goes. Alright, going well so far, and now I have to use Q and E to steer on the water. Okay, it's working. It's totally working. Guys. Guys, I think we may have done it. I think we may have actually done what I set out to do, which I thought was going to be an immense failure. All right, you know what? Now, we're going to test everything about this vehicle. We're going to drive this vehicle off of a jump, fly into the air, and then land hovering across the water. You guys ready for this? Here we go. Here we go. We're going off the jump, into the air. We're turning on the hover pads, and then we are... Ooh. I built that up a little bit too much, and uh, we did not succeed. All right, you know what I had realized? I had realized that, that that goal was not epic enough. What we have to do is we have to go off a jump, fly through the air, through a hoop of fire, and then fly down and land and hover on water. That is the epic finale to this video to put this this vehicle to its true tests. All right, here we go. Starting with land. Here we go. All right, off the jump. Into the air. Through the hoop of fire. And now our descent towards the water at too much speed. We're going we're going like 250 there for a second. All right, now let's see if we can calm it down. Oh god, turn my things on. I hope they're on. I really hope they're on. Dang it! <laughs> is this gonna be hard? Is this gonna be really hard? Alright, I think I figured it out. I think I know what I was doing wrong. 
So what I have to do is I actually have to hold the throttle backwards while I'm soaring through the air. Because if I'm neutral or pressing W, it wants to tilt my nose down. But if I'm holding S, I actually kind of level out a lot easier, which will make the transition to hovering on the water hopefully go smoother. All right, are you guys ready for this? This is going to be the finale. Last time I'm doing this, this better be the one. Off the jump, through the ring of fire, landing on the water with the hover mode. Here we go. Here we go. Starting with the ground. Transitioning into the air. Through the ring of fire. Oh, that was terrible. We're still doing it, though. Now I'm going to turn my hover pads on, I hope. Oh, I hope they're on right now. All right, here we go. This is the tough part. I'm actually going to uh, kind of slow myself down a little bit here. Come on. Nice and level. Nice and level. Oh! We've done it! We've done it! All three land, air, and sea through a ring of fire. And we're just going to go off into not the sunset, but just the horizon off the edge of the earth. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys enjoyed that finale stunt there, leave a like for this video. Oh, let's make sure we're also testing out our turning here. It's working. Everything seems to be working. We're in good shape. This is the best vehicle I've ever made. It does everything. So leave a like for this vehicle if you did like it. And uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future content like this. Now remember, this idea came from a couple of you guys in the comments, so thanks for those of you who suggested things similar to this. And let me know, leave another comment on what you would want to see in future eh, Trailmakers videos. Alright, we're going upside down. This works too. Another, just another amazing thing this vehicle could do. It can hover upside down in the water. I just spit on my screen. All right, well, I'm going to end the video now because uh, more crazy stuff's going to keep happening. I don't have time for this. I'm going to end the video at some point. Just make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button and comment what you want to see in the future videos. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.